All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick. As always, you can call me Catch Ninja, and this is going to be my final preview episode of Fallout 76. Lots of good stuff gonna happen in this video. We got some PvP, got some public events, got some Scorched Beast action, and then we finish it off with a bang in the literal sense. So. Once again, this was captured at an event that I did with Bethesda a couple weeks ago in West Virginia. Got to actually go inside a real life nuclear bunker, which was pretty cool. And yeah, this is the last episode of the series. And I kind of wanted to give you guys some closing thoughts of what I thought of the game. And this guy got like a snubby here, the snubby pistol. I think I actually encountered easy allies. Uh, I think the person on the thumbsticks was Ben Moore. Yeah, this guy. Straight out just shooting me in the back. Yeah, I should have actually just like killed me so he could be labeled as a murderer. I didn't I don't think a snubby is probably the best weapon either. If you're going toe to toe with someone in PvP action. But anyways, I think I lose. Spoiler alert. I he straight up murders me. <laughs> but and yeah, and what's worse is he tries to come find me again, I'm pretty sure, to kill me again. But anyways. Yeah. So final thoughts of the game. I've said this before in previous episodes. My main concern isn't necessarily glitches or bugs. This guy's still shooting me. <laughs> Rather, it's more of just the technical frame rate. Uh, the frame rate drops a lot. This is Xbox One X, so PC may be better, but the frame rate is a bit unstable when you get other players. This guy just won't leave me alone. I think he has a thing for me. When you get more players in the same area, not so much if you're partied up, but just random other people. So I'm assuming that they'll, they'll, they'll eventually sort that out and it will fix itself here. Um, revisiting a dead body where I died earlier in the previous episode where I got mugged. I can see that. Literally a brown bag. Brown bag in it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm assuming that the framer thing will eventually sort itself out, so I'm not too concerned about it. My main question is, which probably can't be answered, is what post game main mission content will keep you playing, keep you engaged in the game. There are public events, there are these legendary beasts, this guy's signaling, he's flashing those dollar dollar bills that he wants to give me stuff. I'm kind of hiding out here because I don't want easy allies to kill me again. The main, th I played, I'd say, I played ESO or Elder Scrolls online for 10 hours, I'd say around there and I know that's barely scratching the surface of what that game has to offer but I found it very difficult for it to kind of keep me engaged in what I wanted to do like the not not I'm not saying anything but it was very the game told me exactly what I need to do is very clear on the direction that I needed to do it uh, and which way I needed to go, but I just it, there just was a, there wasn't any hook to kind of keep me into the game. And here's a public event that's happening right Attention now. Attention, all responders. This is a top priority message. Radar has spotted an inbound cargo bot. We've got to secure the landing zone so we can make the drop. We need those supplies when the cargo bot's going to attract attention. So you're ready for a fight. It's a lot of ghouls around here or scorch wanderers, but. There's actually two Bethesda employees that were in there's one. And there's another one somewhere around here that uh, gives me a hand. And one of them actually gives me a pretty cool gun. It's like a handgun with a scope on it, which is really good for long range. I found it a little bit difficult to make out the crosshairs on it, so I eventually did put it away, but I did try it out for a little bit. So I'm assuming when you do these type of public events, they probably, these time public events, they probably end up in some sort of reward. But the main reason I was coming in here was to proceed with the quest I was giving. The final departure quest line that I'm kind of pursuing right now, it's actually, I wanted to finish it off, but I couldn't because it was literally the last stage, or the next stage anyways, I'm not 
sure if it was the last stage. The next stage was on the other side of the world, on the bottom left hand corner of the map. And I was running out of time basically. The entire event ran for about three hours. I got to play three hours of the game. And we were coming to the near end and they gave us like the wrap up signal that things were gonna finish fairly soon. So I knew that I didn't have enough time to go meet up with, with my pals in that I started the entire session with. So I decided to I, I started to rejoin with them and we actually went out to we went and hunt a scorched beast which was pretty cool. Give me free stuff. Yeah. Armored hardened pistol, which is pretty cool. See you can see like the game is struggling my right here. I think I think it's important I know I'm kind of like beating a dead horse when I keep talking about the frame rate, but I think it's important to show you guys exactly what I experienced. It actually gets... Hello! <laughs> it actually gets a bit worse than this when I encounter a Bethesda employee decked out in a full set of party, uh, power armor. We will... Eventually what we do is we go... I rejoin the party and we kill the Scorched Beast, which is kind of like a gigantic flying gargoyle thing. And then... That wasn't too bad, but then we enter that main city where we kind of begin the game, where we pick up the quest to become a citizen, and the guy in the power armor was just literally... It was literally like five, frame, five frames per second, so... Uh, it, was, it was a tough kill, but we eventually got him. And that pretty much wrapped up the, the demo, or the play, state, uh, the play session. There's a final scene, which I probably will spoil for you guys with the title as well as the thumbnail of the video but you guys can check it out a little bit later but yeah that's it for me in terms of what i have to say i will play the game again once the beta releases for xbox one x obviously there may be there will probably be a newer build oh, some of my stuff that i dropped last time there will probably be a newer build and hopefully it will run a little bit more stable. But I think really the final say of whether or not what you can expect, if it's going to be good or not, and, the, and live up to the expectations we have for it is going to be with the PC version of the game. And we won't find that out until it actually releases in November. I It's like mid-November this game comes out. But anyways, I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this early preview of Fallout 76. As always, if you have any questions, you guys can leave them down in the comment box below. Let me know your thoughts as well. What did you guys think of all the footage that I showed you guys in terms of what your expectations were and whether or not it lived up to those expectations. And we will have more gameplay in the future. All right. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Help support the series and the channel. And let's Bethesda know that inviting me to these events is actually worth their time and well earned money. And I will see you guys next time. All right. As always, half past today.
Attention citizens, nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. Right in front of me. <laughs> All right, so just as soon as the nuke is over, 